What's going on, everybody? See here, and welcome back to Tavern Master. So today, ooh, today's an exciting day because we just finished the props for soup. So now we're gonna get the unlimited bars. And I learned a couple things as I was kind of like just playing through, just trying to get some things unlocked here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited because we got we got plans. We got plans. So a uh, couple things we did get like we got research done. Uh, we got some of these things done. So now we actually have that smoked ham that we needed for the uh, for the better events. So that's like our next one. And then the bars, the bars, the bars, the bars we have. We're going to get the unlimited bars unlocked. So that's exciting. Now, what I learned is the kitchens. So when we do the research, we plus one, we get another kitchen unlocked. And then over here, we have unlimited kitchens. However, that doesn't mean unlimited props for the different types of meals. So while we have unlimited kitchens, ex basically the counters, we do not have unlimited uh, ways to cook them. So like this guy right here is used for main courses. Then we have soups. And then I think this is desserts, if I'm not mistaken. So we don't have unlimited of those. So what we're going to have to do is have one big kitchen with the multiple different items and then we can have multiple counters so we can have more chefs and more people running those. So what we're going to do for that is we're actually going to put the kitchen on the second floor because we can have a total of, let's see, we already have two floors, three, four floors. So the th first three floors are going to be restaurant. The top floor is going to be hotel. Now I want the kitchen centralized in order to make sure that we're not going to have any issues. So we're going to put the kitchen on the second floor and then we're going to get our unlimited bars and all that fun stuff going but uh we're not quite there yet so we're gonna let this play through we're gonna let this run uh, right now i have research i had some research going on the barrel storage um i do actually really want to get that unlocked but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit up we're gonna stop that and we're gonna start research on this so we can start getting the research points and we can start getting the rare people and we can actually go ahead and schedule an event for 160 executioners fantastic and then we have a upgrade on somebody, but I'm not going to do that yet. Just in case for tomorrow's uh, mission, we have to upgrade somebody. So, um, but yeah, this is Tavern Master. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, maybe consider subscribing if you think I earned it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So let's start the next day. Let's see what our new deal is. Um, earn more than 8,100 in one day. Whoo, buddy. All right. So let's go ahead and upgrade you. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and upgrade your stairs. Let's go ahead and let's get it going, shall we? I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So uh, we're gonna redo this. I'm gonna actually get rid of this wall. We're not gonna have an outdoor area. Um, that is inefficient. It's inefficient and I just, we we here are here to make money. We have over 100,000 gold already. But that's basically because we kind of been just chilling, uh, letting the game run, letting it do its thing. Now, uh, research wise, unlimited, unlimited bars. Oh, I'm so excited about that, you have no idea. Um, and then I think my plan is to have the kitchen like right in this area and have the stairs going like right up to this kitchen. Uh, probably like one stair going down one here, one stair going up here or something like that. So that way the kitchen's the first thing because they're gonna be running back and forth to the kitchen to you know deliver everything to everyone. Um, and then we're gonna have two bars on this floor because we're gonna have a kitchen in this area. So one bar here, one bar here, that'll probably be enough. Down here, we're actually gonna throw another bar in. So we're gonna have, I think, um, one bar maybe over here over here and over here or like one here one here one here i don't know we're gonna see and then what we're also gonna do is we're gonna space these out we're gonna space our tables out a little bit more and the reason for that is because if say somebody's bringing drinks to this person over here they actually have to walk all the way back around this way to bring them over here and that is inefficient that is slowing our money down we cannot slow the money down we have to have more money uh let's see do we have an upgrade somewhere yeah here we go boom baby upgrade uh let's see let's increase your speed fantastic we also did get a um an elite chef as well that's this guy right here he can actually prepare two soups at the same time so that's exciting um uh, but yeah oh my gosh we're so excited so we're gonna get this unlimited bars unlocked um i'd like to get the new floor the new floor should be unlocked pretty quick too because that only takes a thousand people and yeah we're rocking and rolling oh we're doing the things now like i said i do want to get the barrel storage unlocked because it auto refills stuff which 
is like huge that's actually going to be quite nice when it comes to having so many bars and things like that today is the big day today is the event and we should be able to finish our unlimited bars Ooh, i'm so excited <laughs> i cannot wait i'm so excited to like rebuild everything and that's just oh it's gonna be so much fun and we're gonna go for efficiency and i've seen a lot of comments a lot of people saying that i shouldn't be using plants and i think we're gonna go a little bit away from the plants we're probably gonna go with more rugs more things like that um we're probably gonna upgrade our tables because we could do we can basically continually raise our prestige and get more people per day and continually raise prices uh i don't know if there's like a max like increase but yeah we we got we got things to do we got things to do we got to make more money we got to make more people happy more money so the event finished we still need six rare people that shouldn't be an issue because we're getting let's see that was an event we're getting like 19 15 we're getting a few per day so that should not be an issue we're kind of just waiting actually probably on the research points and then we're gonna hit up the new floor but we're gonna do our rebuild as soon as this is unlocked oh one more rare person and some more research points uh the 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 rare person's probably gonna get done first let's see which one will it be and the rare person's done okay so then once this is done we're gonna move right on into this and we're gonna get a rebuild going so i'm kind of looking at stuff I'm trying to figure out what i want to do here uh as far as carpets because we have this animal skin right here it's a four by four area it gives us 50 um prestige however these small carpets that are two by two give us 30 prestige. So if we do two of these, if we do a four by four, that would give us like way more experience per square foot. Uh, so we're probably going to run with those. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to color code like a main path, you know, for like the waitress to walk on. And then like seating area, I'm going to use the carpets to do that. So I kind of have an idea of what's going on, you know, basically like laying out a nice fancy blueprint, if you will. Unlimited bars coming in hot. Coming in hot. Come on. You're almost there. You can do it. Oh, momentous occasion. Big, huge, momentous occasion. Unlimited bars is complete. This is wonderful. So let's see here. I'm trying to plan some stuff out. Now, the building itself is eight walls across. So we're going to bring this stair right here going up. And then once we unlock the stair on the next level, we're going to have the other stair going up right here. So hopefully the kitchen's going to be right here, right next to the stairs, you know, minimal, minimal distance from, uh, from the stairs getting in and up. And, oh, we got a uh, upgrade over here. Look at that. We're on four. We're working on four star foods now. This is fantastic. Perfect. The day is over. It is time to start the reconstruct. Oh, shoot. I've got a lot of people in here sleeping. That's eh, fine. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go into build mode. We're going to go deconstruct. I'm going to deconstruct all of this. Yep. You guys are not going to be happy about this, but I do not care. They're going to wake up and their walls are going to be gone. Now our researchers, I'd like to get our researchers on a different floor as well, but they're going to just kind of stick there for now. So uh, something I just figured out is you can actually drag and highlight and you can sell all. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, so here's our bottom floor. Now, what I'm thinking that we're going to try to do is, hold on, let's go into here. Let's go ahead and move this guy to that corner. Uh, can we rotate this? Oh, you can't mirror it. That's kind of a bummer. There's not a mirror option, is there? Oh. Oh, that's floors. Okay. Because I'm feeling like we're going to need three bars per floor for, like, main floors. Uh, here, let's move these guys out of the way. All right. So we've done some building. Now, these the, the, the seats are not nearly as crammed together as they were originally. Um, and the reason for that is hopefully with less cramped seating, we can get to and from people faster. Um, as you can see, we have three bars downstairs. I did put carpets in. I put carpets in there, some tables. We have a prestige of 19,260, which is fantastic. Now, I could go through and I could literally just perfectly cover the entire floor in carpets. And I might do that at some point. But right now, um, we're not going to do that. And then up here, as you can see, more seating, more bars. 
we only have two bars up here um these guys are just gonna hang out for now because like i just i need them uh and then once we get the other floors we can move them up so once these are gone we'll get more seating in here and then once we get a third floor i put the staircase in but i don't have the floor yet once we get the next floor it'll basically be pretty much this floor over again um we currently only have 191 seats so we actually we didn't go up very much i think we went up like 30 seating total but that's because things are a little bit more spaced out um i did actually use a couple of the single like the the double seat areas i do not have a chair here because i was trying to keep this walkway right here relatively relatively clear so hopefully that's not going to be an issue we don't have any plants anymore we have like zero plants um if we need more plants we can but we already have a high prestige we already have 504 guests per day and that is still with my um higher pricing so we could probably actually increase that to probably you'll probably go to that but you know what let's leave it at 504 per day and let's see what kind of see what kind of things we got now we do need to hire people so let's see we could hire we need to hire at least well, we need bartenders so let's go in here and let's hire some people up um chefs bartenders okay so let's get who's good honestly they're all kind of the same Garen exp gains experience twice two times faster that only that's only good for so long though because they max out um mood decreases 20 percent slower every day that's cheaper in the long run um uh, shoot i'm gonna have to hire pretty much all these people for now okay so there's all of them uh should we get some more chefs in here probably should receive two bonus for every dessert every soup prepares two soups at the same time that's kind of handy um and then maybe bonus for every dessert why not and let's go ahead and get some more waitresses in here as well actually we're gonna hire all of them because I think we are going to be low on waitresses, but we got to make sure we're still making money per day. So um, I think everything looks good. Let's go ahead and let's run through. Let's run through a day here and let's see what happens. So yeah, see, we need more waitresses over here, but I can't. Oh, actually, if I start the next day and pause, I think I could hire more people. Because it's technically the next day now. Yeah, it is. Okay, a tip for every drink and seven more people per day. That looks good. Um, okay. All right. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how today goes. We have a really, we have a good prestige now. Um, oh, shoot. We need the full bards. I forgot. Okay. All right. Let's see how this day goes. Hopefully we have zero angry customers. Um, honestly, it looks, it's crazy. Like how much less, uh, hire some musicians. Hey, look at that. Um, it's crazy how much, how many, how small, much smaller this looks. Cause like before we had the, um, the outside area and that was completely packed with people. Like overall, it's just less people, but I think with our higher prestige, I think we could, uh, we could probably raise our prices up. Like no problem either. We'll see how today goes. We'll run through today. People are going upstairs. Fantastic. And I mean, we have so many waitresses. Like basically I want more waitresses than anything else because I want people moving the stuff from point A to point B. Um, that seems to always be the issue. Like, okay, see, we don't have anybody over here delivering drinks. Okay, so there you go. That drink counter's empty. See, these are all, like, getting full. Can we hire more waitresses? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Get in here. Start making stuff. Start delivering. Okay, good. What I don't want to see is any, any angry customers. I want to see zero angry customers. The bars look fairly empty. This one doesn't look very empty. But, I mean, for as many bars as we have, holy moly. Then we also need to see what our rates of getting drinks and stuff are to people. Uh, so, yesterday was awful because I spent 55000 Um So, there's our serve drinks, take food, order, prepare food, serve food. That's our average action duration. So we want those to be a little bit less, ideally. Oh my gosh. Drinks sold, food sold. We made 11,000. Bonus is 2,000. What was the bonus for? I don't even know what the bonus was for. We made 11,000. 
so our duration for stuff went down decently serve drinks is still a little high but eleven thousand in one day are you kidding me that is crazy how many people did we serve um customers served oh my gosh we served a lot more people holy moly total seats yeah because i mean we went from 160 seats to 191 seats so we went up 30 something seats but our uh prestige went through the roof and any angry customers zero angry customers no way okay hold on we're gonna see if this was a fluke we're gonna run through another day Eleven thousand two hundred eighty-five, two hundred fifty-eight. that is crazy um oh what do i have 800 gold heck yes all right uh let's start the next day so I'm also going to say that having the space in between the tables is helping too, because as you see, people can cut through and it can actually take uh, time off of the getting from point A to point B. So I really like that. Oh, you know what we never did? We never set these bars to only serve the floor that they're on. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. All floors, only first. We need to set these to, because I bet you people are bringing drinks up and down stairs. And we don't want that. We want only second floor. We we don't want them going upstairs unnecessarily. All right, let's try that. Let's see how that goes. Food, all floors, of course. But drinks, I don't need them going up and downstairs carrying drinks. That might cut off our time a little bit too. Oh yeah, see, look at these bars. Look like they're a lot emptier now too because they're not worried about the other floors. I wonder if they were ever like double making drinks. I doubt it. Oh yeah, this is much better. We'll have to run through an entire day of average like uh, drink serving time because the, the first half of the day, I didn't change that. Oh man, I bet that made a huge difference. Do we still make 11,000 though? <laughs> okay, we only made 7,000 that day. So we had a bonus. Drink so we sold more drinks than less food, but we didn't wait. Oh, we got another bonus. I don't know where we're getting bonuses for. Oh, but that's also because I had to uh, I did some refills and the adventurers too. So yes, we did cut down time too. serve drinks 44.8. We went down to 41.4. Prepare food went up a little bit. Serve food went up a little bit, but other than that, I think it's good. Let's try it again. Um, oh, we got upgrades here. All right, one solid day. I'm not gonna send any adventurers out. I'm not gonna try to refill anything unless I have to. I wanna see like what kind of profits were. Oh, I'm gonna have to refill this guy. <laughs> Ale's gone. Oh, well. We are getting close to having another floor as well. So, oh, that's gonna be exciting. Basically, I need to, I wish I could just copy and paste, like copy and paste this floor up one more floor. And today we made, oh my gosh, we made 9,900 and I spent like five grand. Well, two, I guess two and a half was on uh, salaries. So serve drink time. Oh yeah. Look at that. 41 to 29. Oh, that's good. Serve food, prepare food went down too. That's good. I didn't really do anything with food. So, but the, uh, the serve drinks, like, look at that. We cut like 10 seconds off the average time too. Uh, total seats, 91% occupancy. Do we have any angry customers? None. Oh, we are doing the things. We are doing the things. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and hire you. You're maxed out, so I can't really do anything else with us, else with you, bud. Um, and then, let's see, I think that's everything there. What do we have on this? Reach five stars with any food. Prepare fish steak 29 times. Serve only desserts for the whole day. And have a one-star room. Uh, elite bartender. Elite chef. Oh, wow. We got all kinds of things. Okay. So I, I'm going to say tomorrow we're going to unlock the new floor. Oh my gosh. This is going to be amazing. And then we need to, um, I need to get this barrel storage unlocked. So that way we automatically fill stuff. So our new floor is just waiting research. We should get that done. And then we got to go back and we got to get barrel storage. And I guess we'll probably do the 28 guests per day. Uh, that's just, why not? It's a bonus. Research has been completed. We have a new floor barrel storage let's go ahead and start that up and then here's our new floor well there's our new floor but we can't even see it yet so basically we're gonna copy this floor move it on up here and then we're gonna make even more money let's see what we made for today though 
<laughs> we made 12,000 today. Oh, we made 12. Yeah, I mean, we even made more because of our salaries, but 12,000 in one day. Any angry customers? None. Oh, that's fantastic. Serve drink time. Wow. Like, it's just looking good. It's just looking so good. I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, but that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. This is a Tavern Master. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're playing this and what you think of it. I'm just having so much fun. Um, I think we're going to do probably, there's going to be at least one more episode, maybe two, depends, um, because we do have a new floor, unlimited kitchens. So I'd like to finish those, get those unlocked. Um, and we're getting to the point where we're already at 110,000 again. We're more than what I started when I had to rebuild everything. So we are fully capable of like maxing everything out. Uh, the top floor... We might even just throw the entire top floor uh, with tables. We might just do like the ultimate Lux tables and Lux benches on all of those because we have so much money and that's going to increase our uh, prestige like even more. It's it's going to be a good time. It's going to be so much fun. But yes, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Maybe consider subscribing if you think I earned it. And I'll see you in the next one.